When Jeremy Corbyn was elected leader of the Labour Party in 2015, he promised a shift in policy on the Middle East. The continuing occupation, the expansion of illegal settlements and the imprisonment of Palestinian children are an outrage. We will recognise a Palestinian state as soon as we take office. When Jeremy Corbyn uh, became leader, we were so overjoyed. At last, we have a Western politician who actually sympathises with the Palestinians. Oh, Jeremy's a racist! But soon allegations emerged that he was a racist. The very existence of my party, the Labour Party, is at stake. Every racist, anti seamount out of the Labour Party. It's time for Jeremy Corbyn to act. The Labour files contain the entire contents of the party's disciplinary folders since 2014. We can see real anti-Semitism. But then there is also a lot of information in these disciplinary files where there is clearly no anti-Semitism whatsoever. The files show that claims of anti-Semitism were repeatedly used to suspend Corbyn supporters. Here is an, an example that says, we demand that International Criminal Court and the UN charge Benjamin Netanyahu and Israel for war crimes against humanity. To suggest that this is somehow anti-Semitic is simply trying to avoid Israel being called out for its appalling abuses in the occupied territories. For the first two and a half years of his leadership, it was the party general secretary who Corbyn inherited, Ian McNichol, who was ultimately in charge of dealing with anti-Semitism cases. In 2018, Corbyn replaced McNichol with an ally, Jenny Formby. Analysis of the data in the files tells a remarkable story. This graph shows the number of suspensions, investigations and expulsions from the Labour Party on grounds of anti-Semitism all through the Corbyn era. And this is the moment when Jenny Formby becomes General Secretary of the Labour Party, enabling Jeremy Corbyn to take control of the bureaucracy of how Labour works. After they took control, the number of investigations, suspensions and expulsions went up exponentially. Under intense pressure, Corbyn then accepted a definition of anti-Semitism that includes criticism of Israel. Pressure from pro-Israel supporters continued until he was defeated in a general election in 2019. Soon after new leader Sir Keir Starmer takes over, his team meet with leading pro-Israel groups in Britain. The files include minutes of the meeting, which included the Board of Deputies of British Jews. The Board of Deputies are keen to counter suppositions from Labour MPs that because they're nominally committed to combating anti-Semitism, that it gives them carte blanche to say what they like about Israel. Steve Reid, a senior opposition minister, replies that the Labour Party will never accept attempts to exceptionalise and delegitimise Israel. Phil Rees, Al Jazeera, London.